Today, we will be cooking banana oatmeal muffins. Let's do this. All right, so I wasn't really planning on uh, videotaping this one, but I decided I should anyways, because it's pretty easy, pretty cool thing to make. So uh, let's do this. Um, ingredients. You need some honey. Greek yogurt. Doesn't matter what kind of brand, just Greek yogurt. Oh shit, old fashioned oats. Almost dropped that one. Baking powder. Baking soda. Vanilla. Cupcake pans. And uh, bananas. Yeah. So, two bananas. Uh, and then basically what you're going to do is. Uh, like I said, I messed up. I did this pretty late. But uh, all you're going to do is super easy. You're going to put the old-fashioned oats into the food processor. Run that for 10 seconds or more until the oats get chopped up. Um, and then once that's done, you're going to add all your other ingredients, which would be as listed. Easy enough. And basically just throw those in the food processor and uh, process them until you get like a really doughy dough, like so. It's hard to see, but uh, yeah. like that, like pancake batter or cake batter or whatever. Um, and if you don't know what cake batter looks like, it just looks like oatmeal. Boom. That's perfect. Um, and then, yeah, pour it into a bowl and then, uh, you know, get your cookie or your, uh, your cupcake pan ready and we're going to pour them in there and bake them at 350. Let's uh, do that right now. You know, some girls think that cooking is really manly. Preheat your oven for 350. All right, so like I said, I'm apologizing again for not showing you all the cool stuff with the food processor, but uh, it's videotaping, this is kind of late. So, um, oh shoot, I didn't add the two eggs. You need two eggs also. But uh, so anyways, I'm just gonna use a little half cup, excuse me, half cup measuring cup. Fill that bad boy up, shake off the excess, and then pour it in your uh, muffin pan or uh, cupcake pan, whatever. When you're baking something that's going to be cake-like, it's really important to leave space at the top or else what's going to happen is you're going to have a huge mess. So, um, see, how, see how I left the space? That's pretty much what you want to do for each, each one. So you're using a half cup scooper, but you're not going to actually utilize the whole half cup. Oh. That was a little bit too full. And yes, I'm doing the shirtless because like I said, it was the last minute. And I didn't feel like putting a shirt on, but fuck it. Uh, so we'll finish these up, and then we'll put them in the oven. Ah, my voice is kind of scratchy. <clears throat> That's better. Now that we got that poured in, um, oven's ready to go, so we'll go ahead and drop these in the oven real quick. Alright, so to check the temperature on your oven, uh, if you got an old school oven like I have, it's not going to tell you, but you can, there's vents, you can feel if there's a substantial amount of hot air coming out, per chances are it's up to temp. So we're gonna go and drop this in now. I wouldn't recommend touching the racks because that's stupid. Don't be stupid. Now, uh, 18 to 20 minutes um, at 350. Uh, my recommendation is start at 18 minutes and then check them if they're still. If you put a toothpick or a knife in there and there's still batter coming out, then do it for, you know, a minute increment at a time because a minute baking can actually make a huge difference. So now we wait. Set the timer. When you're doing timer, make sure you do the two zeros for the minutes. I don't know why I should have to tell anybody that, but I'm doing it anyways. Now we wait. So this recipe also calls for like an optional adding of black seed or it says you can use like blueberries or nuts or whatever, but I'm just going to do them plain. Um, actually, I might add walnuts to it. I guess it's too late for that. But anyways, 
Um, I'm not going to add anything to it. I'm just going to do exactly the way it says. Um, if you do like blueberries or something, if you're using fresh blueberries, be careful not to add too many. Or what's going to happen is the juice from the blueberries will come out and then you're going to get like really messy. Uh, I think you can understand what would happen. The juice in the blueberries is going to come out and make it kind of weird. So you can use like dehydrated fruits, like dehydrated blueberries or whatever. And that also helps out a lot. Or frozen ones also. Um, and flaxseed. If you're going to use flaxseed, if you're following the recipe directly and use flaxseed, be careful not to use too much of that because flaxseed is fiber and fiber makes you poop. You don't want to poop too much. Oh yeah, that's good. Time to check my muffins. Oh, man. minutes and after I beat the shit out of Sabrina um not really I'm just kidding spousal abuse is bad or it's just frowned upon um I forgot what I was gonna say okay 20 minutes you can have some good breakfast and uh you'll be regular for a while um yeah so hope you had fun I know I did sorry that I'm slacking on all my technical stuff but shit happens um if you like this, subscribe. If not, do it anyways. Check out the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash cooking for dudes can't cook. One word. Get that shit away from me. <laughs> um, yeah, so until next time, it's time to go kick some butt. Meow, me hungry. Meow, it's my